Russian olives. You'll see them along waterways and parks in the Kamloops area. A long time ago in the late 1800s, uh, as the settlers were coming into BC, they were bringing with them Russian olives uh, as an ornamental tree, as a great windbreak, and as a sort of bank erosion stabilizer, um, without thinking about the impacts later on. The plant thrives in the semi-arid desert landscape of Kamloops, so much so it's become a major issue. And we don't have a lot of the different diversity, so it'll outcompete our cottonwoods that actually grow much bigger trees. They provide habitat and homes for a lot of things versus our Russian olives, which stay more like shrubs and don't have that same capability. But here's the thing. Because these plants have been around for about 200 years, animals like bears, birds, and coyotes have come to rely on them for their fruit, making it difficult for the city to remove them all at once. That's where the Russian olive right. gall mite comes in. Olive. The great thing about the mites that are coming out is it doesn't affect and kill the entire tree. It affects the flowers, the fruits, and new young shoots. So what we're looking at is those trees, the mature trees, not being able to reproduce as well. And then so over time, we're actually looking at the Russian olive population decreasing. And during that, when we might be looking at 20, 30, 50 years, but all of the birds, animals, insects that are using those trees will adapt back to using our native species. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has approved the mite as a biological control. Kamloop City staff, along with the CFIA, will be testing and checking sites in the decades to come to see if the mites worked as planned and whether or not they might be the solution to stop the spread of Russian olives in other communities. Jennifer Norwell, CBC News, Kamloops.